and welcome to day five of our devotional Galatians. And today we'll be focusing on Christian liberty, a spiritual implications of the freedom that believers have in Christ. Understanding our liberation from the Lord's demands in a time when many are burdened by legalism and the performance-based faith the person of the Holy Spirit declares a message of liberation. Through Christ we are freed from the stringent demands of the law, not to indulge in lawlessness, but to embrace the higher law of love and grace. And this freedom is a prophetical call to live in the reality of grace, unshackled from the chains of condemnation. You know, not using freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. And with this freedom comes responsibility. And the Holy Spirit cautions us against the misuse of liberty as a pretext for indulging in the flesh. Instead, this freedom is an invitation to spiritual maturity where our choices are guided by the Holy Spirit and aligned with God's will. You know, it's a call to use our liberty, not for selfish ends, but as a means to grow in holiness and godliness. So how does freedom lead to a loving service? Well, true freedom in Christ is manifested in selfless service to others. Now, the Holy Spirit moves believers to look beyond their interests, using their liberty to serve others in love. And this loving service is a prophetic testimony to the world of transformative power of the gospel, showcasing a kingdom where service is exalted over self-interest. So pondering the responsible use of the Christian liberty in reflection and prayer, we are called to consider how we are stewarding our freedom in Christ. Are we using it to advance the kingdom or to build up others and to glorify God? May our prayers lead to a deeper understanding and uh, responsible freedom and inspire actions that reflect the heart of Christ, who through, uh, though free, choose to serve. Christian liberty emphasizes the transformation that comes from being in the freedom of Christ that offers, a freedom that is not for self-indulgence, but for serving others in love, guided by the Holy Spirit, is an invitation to live out this liberty in a way that honours God and edifies others, and showcasing the distinctive nature of the Kingdom of God. And we have a great opportunity to show this in the world in which we live, where it's becoming more and more noticeable when believers stand up for these principles. And as you have your day to day, you will find that when you live these principles of the kingdom of God, that you will be different from those around you and you will become a light in the darkness. You know, you were you were saved by God to be a transformative light in the community where you are. So be proud of that and and stand up for those things that God wants and you will find that your life will be led through a gospel of grace and you will be making a difference in the environment in which you live. So until tomorrow, I shall see you then.